thought I'd share with you one of my less successful pourings where I didn't get the contrast between the colours that I was hoping for. For this pour I decided to try some of the cheaper crafting acrylics. I used the DecoArt Dazzling Metallics Emperor Gold, Ducraft Artiste Metallic Amethyst and then the Ducraft Artiste Pearl in Frosted Mint Wisteria, Blush and Mother of Pearl. For the white I used Amsterdam Acrylics Zinc White. I used my standard paint pouring recipe of 70% paint, 20% of the Liquitex pouring medium, 10% Floetrol, 3-4 to four drops of silicon oil added just before the pour and then water to thin the paint to a honey consistency. I was able to get three pours out of the cup, two A5, one canvas board and one canvas and then an A4 canvas board. This colour combination was a little bit out of my comfort zone but I wanted to try something a little bit different. I got mixed results which you'll see a little bit later but I just thought um, I'd give it a try. One of the things I did notice with the crafters acrylics, the cheaper ones which are anywhere from sort of £1 to £2.50 on Amazon is that they are a lot thinner than the thicker bodied artist quality paints so you don't need as much water to thin them out and in fact a, a couple of times when I've used these paints I've actually needed to thicken them with a standard paint. So I finished off all the paints and pretty much filled the cup as much as I could. There really wasn't any more room in the cup. In retrospect, I think I probably would have used a blue instead of either the amethyst or the wisteria rather than both of them together. For the first pour, which is a canvas uh, A5, I poured less than a quarter of the cup. It was just enough to be able to tilt the paint over the canvas and cover it nicely. With this first pour, when I started tilting it, I got more ribboning rather than cell development, which was you know, an interesting look, but I felt that it was a little bit over-dominated by the purple. I have to apologise for the terrible point of view of the canvas. I hadn't realised that uh, my phone had slipped um, and it wasn't focusing in the correct area. Also, the terrible red coloured mat that's clashing with the purples of the paints. As you can see the mint and the blush, the pink, were totally overwhelmed by the amethyst and the wisteria, so basically the purple and the, the lilac colours. I torched it but it didn't really bring out any additional cells, it was very much a ribboned piece. I used the same technique and about the same amount of paint on the second pour which was again an A5 canvas but this time it was a canvas board rather than a traditional artist canvas. Again I ended up having an awful lot of purple and not as much of the other colours although I did prefer the look and feel of this one and I did get a bit of cell development which I hadn't had on the first canvas so that was nice. This is an example where I wished I hadn't torched it because the torching brought out lots of little cells which actually made the composition have less contrast than it did before so it wasn't really something that I particularly liked. I ended up uh, reusing the first and second canvases in these pours because I really didn't like how they turned out. The third and final pour was on an A4 canvas board so I had probably just over half the cup left and I went and did a flip cup with this one. I let the cup sit for a minute or two to get the paint down to the bottom of the cup before pulling it. As you can see from the video the cup pour was a lot more muted in colour than the previous two pours where I had actually just poured them rather than doing the flip cup. However there was a lot more cell development happening. You can't see it quite so well yet but uh, as the video goes on you should be able to see those cells developing, especially in the gold and the dark amethyst. 
as the cells were stretched out because they were quite light a lot of the detail kind of got lost as the canvas was being stretched out at this stage though i was quite happy with the composition i quite liked the way it looked unfortunately when it dried it just didn't have the same definition and i'll make sure that i put some pictures of this one uh, even though um, i wasn't particularly keen on it this is the only one they actually kept and varnished but the other two i covered over again with a different pour at a later date in case you're interested in knowing i film all my videos on my iphone 6 plus i create the slide inserts using graphic which is a vector based app then i edit my videos using an app called luma fusion which lets you add transitions, edit and cut your videos, detach the audio that's there, insert pictures as part of a slideshow. And then you can add effects like zoom, pan, fade out and have inset videos within a video frame. Add voiceovers and add background music. So it's a really useful tool. As you can see from the close up, there's quite a lot of cells in there. But they're really delicate, you know, in the lace because they're coming through in the gold, the blush and the mint green. And that really dark amethyst purple is not appearing because that sort of came out on the first two pores. As I said before, I think in retrospect, I could have done with another colour or deeper and perhaps a matte colour like a turquoise to complement the wisteria and amethyst. If you'd like to see more of my work, you can check out my YouTube channel where I have a few more art tutorials. Also look at my Instagram feed and my Facebook page, both of which have Wheelie Arts as the title. At the end of this video, there's a slide with my various different social media names and accounts so you can keep in touch. Please feel free to leave a comment, like, dislike and subscribe. If you've got any ideas of colour combinations or things you'd like me to try, please feel free to leave a comment and I'll do my best. Thanks very much. Bye.